A Spokane teenager arrested for assaulting a police officer during a July 4th protest pleaded guilty to a lesser charge today. Zach St. John told the judge he didn't touch the officer but had no choice but to plead guilty. KXY 4's Eric Loney was in the courtroom for the emotional testimony. Eric? You know, had this case gone to trial, it had been the word of a police officer versus the word of a protester, and Zach St. John said he just couldn't take that risk. He told the judge he wanted to become, wants to become a teacher, and with a felony conviction, he couldn't become one. So he pleaded guilty today to a misdemeanor, but the judge did give him a break. Spokane police video didn't capture the confrontation between protester Zach St. John and the Spokane police officer. That officer reported St. John had grabbed him by the throat and choked him. St. John and 17 others were arrested that day while protesting against police brutality. St. John was charged with assaulting the officer. The pressure on the officer's throat caused him to cough. He had to take a deep breath to clear his airway. He shook his head in court today as the prosecutor read the facts of the case and then struggled to plead guilty to the lesser charge of misdemeanor riot. Hearing that, like, makes me want to cry. But, yes. Take the guilty plea. St. John told Judge Deborah Hayes he's innocent but has no choice but to take the plea deal. I'm not done standing up for what I believe in by any means. Spokane's police in this case have proven what we were protesting against. And I think it's really sad. I think it's really, really sad that um, they're getting away with it. This is them getting away with it. I didn't do it. I didn't incite a riot. I didn't assault a police officer. I might have been guilty of being rude in public, but thankfully that's not a charge. And that's all. I appreciate the discretion. There was no four minute long ordeal of them, me grabbing the shoulder, then the arm, then the neck, then him choking, then him lunging again. Like, they're, but we live in Spokane and juries here are not something I want to risk with that. I would have given anything to go to trial on this case considering what the officer put in his affidavit. It, not only was it unlikely, but it was impossible. But I know the respect for police officers in this town, and Zach had to made, make a decision if he was willing to risk his future. I think he made the right decision. Now, the judge uh, gave him a rare break of offering him a deferred sentence, so if he stays clean for one year, it will be wiped off his record. A couple strangers sitting in the courtroom that came to watch today's proceeding actually paid for his $100, uh, $103 fine. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4.